That one also, uh, if you play bass, the way I fingered that is only using the uh, lower four strings, so you can try it on the bass guitar and have, uh, have it work that way too. Hope you dig it. This is a Franz Liszt piece, or Franz Liszt. I have trouble with these foreign names. And uh, the piece is called Mazeppa, I think. Again, another foreign word. I'm having trouble, but the music part hopefully will come off uh, better than my pronunciations. Uh, this is a piece that has a lot of fives in it. Uh, a lot of times when you hear classical music, you'll hear uh, fours, which go like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that kind of thing. This has fives, which is a little more odd, uh, but has a really cool sound. This is, uses a lot of harmonic minor scale in it, so it has that, uh, that real sinister kind of, uh, and also very powerful musical feel to it, and I'll uh, play it for you. Franz Liszt, very, very cool sounding piece. <laughs> If you listen to the fives in it, they're uh, actually descending fives, where it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And after learning that piece, I came up with my own lick for, uh, for playing fives, and I actually used it in the solo for a Mr. Big song called Daddy, Brother, Lover, Little Boy. And uh, I'll play that lick for you now real slow so you can uh, hear it. It goes something like this. Then I do a, a six. Two more fives. And another six. Of course, end with a one. You can hear each one is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, altogether, it would be like. Pretty amazing that uh, you can get something like that from a list piece. Very cool.
Uh, this next piece I'm going to play, another Bach piece for you, and uh, it's a cello piece, which I really like. Uh, I love the sound of the cello, and it's a very long piece. It's probably over three minutes long of uh, just one cello uh, in this cello suite by Bach, and uh, I like it a lot. No, there's not really one part of it that's mega, mega fast. I mean, you, won't, you don't need the drill for this one, uh, but it's really beautifully composed, and it's certainly technically challenging to be able to get through the whole thing without messing up because it's a pretty long piece. Uh, other notes about it, it's, um, it's, I mean, anything that goes that long is going to have a lot of different techniques in it. There's a little part where I do a little sweep picking, you know, a very small amount. Uh, every really kind of picking there is. I do alternate picking. I do some things where I have to do a bunch of downstrokes in a row or a bunch of upstrokes in a row. And the tempo of this is such that you could almost do it with all downstrokes. You don't need a lot of, uh, you know, you don't need a fancy technique to play this, but sometimes uh, things like a couple downstrokes in a row actually sound better than, uh, than alternate picking. Even though it's not as efficient, you can't go as fast, the tone you get from doing those downs in a row will make it a little bit heavier and put a little more emotion into it. So let me give it a try. This is uh, the Bach Cello Suite number three. In, uh, actually, it's originally in the key of C, but I'm playing it in the key of E since I'm tuned up to normal... Uh, guitar. Here it is, the Bach cello suite number three. Here it goes. <laughs> ¶¶ 